Hello everyone, Leaky Spike it here. A few people have been asking me how I came up with my channel name. And today I'm going to tell you how. So I came up with my channel name in 2016, late, late 2016, maybe early 2017, I can't remember. Well, basically my channel name is based off a very bad time in my life. And I wanted to have it as a constant reminder of where I was. Now, 2016 was the bad year. We started off, both myself and my wife, both lost our jobs. And, I don't know, it took about a month I found one, but we had to commute. I had to commute from where we're living now, which was 600 kilometers away, for the first little while before we all moved up. So by the time we got settled in this community, it was, you know, March, mid-March, late March. And so that was a strain on us. We uh, went behind on a lot of payments. Went behind on a lot of payments and the stress of that alone, financial, which I've been through before. No big deal. But things got behind. I was taken to court, had to fight. People done stuff wrong. And we got through it. That extended right into 2017. It's a year and a half of court battles. Uh, another part that was really hard that we went through is, in, of course, moving so late in the year. My daughter had to finish off that year of high school in a brand new school and it it weighed heavy on her to the point we had to seek counseling she had to seek counseling in the in the summer now it wasn't until later we found out what really was going on and i'm not going to say that here but anyway it, it was something she was going through that you know me being as a provider having answers, or not necessarily the right answers, but having answers for her, or tell her what she could do. I had no idea what she was going through, and I couldn't help. So having my daughter go through something that I can't help with, it weighed a lot on me, and I really thought it was my fault. I could have done things differently. close to the end of the year, closer towards Christmas, and by this time, wife and I weren't talking very much. I was distant, she was distant. Well, it turns out we're both going through stressful and depressing times, and we weren't talking to each other. And that was, uh, that was not good. Because by the time, like I said, the end of December, Christmas comes around and, you know, it seemed like it was very depressing Christmas for them. We couldn't provide them with things that we used to provide them with and, you know, that just, just brought me way down. I thought everything was my fault, everyone's suffering because of me. And when your mind goes into this place, it's really hard to come out of. You don't see things the same as you would normally see them under normal circumstances. And so I did. I got to this very, very dark place. And I actually thought about suicide and thoughts of suicide and how my family would probably be better off without me. 
You know, and that's not thoughts I would normally have, and because I'm a happy-go-lucky person, but, you know, your mind goes to a place, and you just don't know, you just don't know what to do. You don't know how to get out of it. You don't know what you're feeling. So, I spent a lot of time watching YouTube, and watching YouTube, mostly road rage, and world star bad stuff trying to replace my depression with anger and then I got into motor vlogging because I love motorcycles and I want to get one again and I got to this I got to a live stream and a small world of motor vlogger who actually paid attention to me in the side chat when I put the comment I wish I had a bike again he put, stop being a whiny little bitch and get a bike. And normally that makes somebody mad who's depressed or it's probably not a right thing to say, but I pretty much said challenge, accept it. And I don't know if that created a spark or not, but I don't know, I decided I'm going to get a bike. And I'm going to get myself out of this freaking shithole I'm in. And want to make a bucket list. Hmm. bucket list of things that I want to achieve now when I made this list I made it on my own and of course I said I wasn't communicating with my wife and it didn't happen until much later and I wish it had been sooner I might not have went down that rabbit hole so I wanted to make a bucket list but I didn't want to put bucket in, in my channel name and so I put bike it it sounds like bucket and I made the name Leaky because of a bunch of reasons. The good reasons are I want it to sound funny. I wanted people to think it's something funny. A leaky bike or a leaky butthole or whatever. But Leaky actually stood, stood to me for losing everything and killing yourself. It's because of my thoughts I had a suicide. And I think that would have been a great reminder for me, never to go there again. And so that's the, that's where my channel name came from. And things are much better now. Still not 100% there, but... Still not 100% there, but I've had have been communicating with my wife more. She gets me uh, she gets me excited about things. She may be my biggest critic, but she really gets me excited about doing things and. Like I said, I wish I'd talked to her much sooner. I didn't realize she was going through stuff too. Ah, that's my story. Thanks everyone for watching. Sorry if it's a depressing one for you. Just answering a question. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Good night and Godspeed.